Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to another episode on how to build a WordPress plugin from scratch. In this tutorial, we're gonna take a look on how to fix an annoying issue that you could probably have when you activate this plugin for the first time. So right now, what we did in the, pre in the previous lesson, we optimized the saving of our custom options to just use an array of data and not a single uh, options field every time we save something. At this point though, we should run a test because right now everything works. If I update something, if I change some toggles and I save it, everything is saved properly and I don't have any issue. The problem though is that we should always test our plugins with no pre-existing data because that's the situation that a new user will uh, find himself when he or she installs the plugin for the first time. So we should always simulate and test that option when we activate the plugin for the first time and we start doing things with zero data saved in our database. So right now in our database in the WP options, if we open it here, we have the array with all our data, but let's delete this stuff and remove this row. So right now I don't have any custom options, any saved data for my Alicat plugin. And of course, if I refresh this, this is completely blank. So basically we're simulating the uh, first activation of our plugin when a user doesn't have any data saved in the database. So as a test, if we go inside the Alicad dashboard and we say, okay, I want to activate a bunch of options. I want to activate the custom post manager, the gallery manager, and the Ajax login and sign up. If we click save changes, look what happens all our checkboxes are saved. This happens, I'm not sure why, but this happens during the uh, sanitization of our checkboxes because we're using that dynamic array. So if we access the API callbacks and manager callbacks here, we have our checkbox sanitized that is looping through all the options and it's saving, it's set into through or false, uh, depending on what we have checked or unchecked during our form post. The problem is that the first time, as you notice, that we save something in our database Base, if we refresh and we open the custom options, the Alicat plugin, WP options that we just saved, every single option is checked. So it's set on through. And this is a mistake that shouldn't happen. I'm not really sure why it happens, but I have a solution that I use pretty much every time that I have a plugin that needs to set a predefined set of options. Because if we try again, if we access again our administration arrow, we uh, deactivate a bunch of things and then we save. Now our changes have been saved properly. So the registration of our options, if we refresh this table and we open it, now we have the proper data with some is through and some it's false. So my approach when I have something like this, especially when I have a section, uh, like in this case, the, the dashboard that manages the activation or deactivation of some specific area, I need some pre-existing data in order to not screw up the plugin completely because I need to check the data if it's there, if it exists, and I need to activate or deactivate some specific options. So I need to set something by default as soon as the user activates the plugin for the first time. And luckily we have already the activation hook that we generate in our Alicat plugin.php, the base folder. Here on activation hook, we're calling the ink base activate activate method. So we can use that method to store an empty data, in our case, the Alicat plugin array with everything set to false, everything set to zero. And with this action, we can first set our default data that is necessary for us to activate and deactivate specific sections based on user options. And then we solve the issue that the first time that the user saves something, everything is checked and it looks like a stupid Christmas tree. So let's take care of updating our plugin to make it work. First, let's access our ink base folder and then activate. Inside the activate option, right after the flush rewrite rules, we wanna first check if the Alicat plugin option already exists. And if already exists, we should interrupt the execution of this script because we don't wanna overwrite some options that probably the user already has. And if he deactivates and reactivates the plugin again, we don't wanna overwrite that option. So let's check if we have 
the get option and here we're tapping directly the settings API to check if we have an option saved and the option saved we know that it's alicat underscore plugin. If these is not empty, we should simply return the script and interrupt the execution of whatever things we're gonna write later. Perfect. Now, in order to test properly these things, let's do something. Let's access our database and let's delete the Alicat plugin row. And of course, let's access the administration area. Let's refresh, nothing is here. Let's deactivate physically the plugin, but let's not delete, otherwise we're gonna destroy everything we did, but it's okay. Um, okay, so if we activate, of course, nothing happens. We didn't specify anything here other than checking if the Alicat plugin options is set, but of course is not set, so the script can continue the execution. So let's deactivate again our plugin. Let's continue first by uh, defining a default array of options where everything is zero. So what we have to do basically after all our calculation, we need to trigger one default built-in method of WordPress called update underscore option and the update option automatically takes care of updating whatever option we pass if the option exists otherwise uh, it creates this new option from scratch so in our case it's perfect because we are checking if the option already exists we don't want to do anything if it doesn't exist let's update this and uh, we need to pass as a second parameter the value that we want to store in our case it's going to be a default array so let's call this variable default that we don't currently have so let's define these default equal to array and let's test this thing so first let's go back in our administration area let's refresh and let's check our database let's refresh our list of options you can see we don't have anything named alicat plugin if we activate the plugin if we go back in our database and we refresh we have at the last option the alicat plugin with a completely empty array so now if we go inside the dashboard you can see here we have an issue because our array is trying to detect if we actually have an option for every single checkbox inside our Alicat plugin. And the Alicat plugin settings in the WP option is set, but we don't have anything inside our database that reflects the single names of all our keys in our manager's array. So we don't have a CPT manager, we don't have a taxonomy manager, and this is the error. Like here, CPT manager is an undefined index on line 33. We can solve this issue by simply checking if actually we have that index properly defined. So let's update a little bit more our code and let's go inside our manager callbacks in the checkbox field where we are generating the checkbox field, the issue is happening right here where we are trying to detect if the option is checked or not. But the problem is that this option doesn't exist because the checkbox variable gets the option name that in our case is Alicat plugin. So we are simply saying, hey, is the Alicat plugin inside here, inside the array? For example, it's the Alicat plugin custom post type manager, true or false? We are not checking if it's actually set or not. We are simply checking if it's through a force. So we assume that it's there by default. So we need to do a little bit of test. First, we could simply do something in line. So we could wrap this checkbox name around the is set PHP method to check if it's set. Let's give it a try. So let's open back our dashboard. Let's refresh. We don't have the issue anymore. We don't have the error in our database. We never saved anything. So the array, it's always completely a zero. Awesome. Let's try to save something. Save one, two, and three and save the changes. And again, unfortunately, all our checkboxes are checked and have been checked. Even if all our checkboxes in the admin section are checked, the array is actually saved properly. So the custom post type manager is a boolean of zero. The taxonomy manager is a boolean of one and so on. So our options have been saved properly. So why the dashboard is returning all checked? Well, because we changed the callback for the checkbox manager. If we go back in our manager callbacks and we see here, we, we are simply doing an is set. So we are checking if is set, 
but we're not actually checking if it's true or false. We're just simply checking if it's set. So we need to update a little bit our code in order to properly check what we're doing here and not assume that this is set or this is checked or is not true or false and stuff like that. So let's change a little bit of things. So first, let's create a variable called checked. I could potentially avoid to define a new variable and do everything in line, in line here, but that's gonna maybe not make this code super readable and it's gonna be kind of like convoluted and complicated. I don't really want to do that. I want to explain you step by step what I want to do. So first we need to check basically exactly what we're doing here. Let's cut this and check. So if this is set, so the checkbox name exists, we can do something Otherwise, we can return false. Inside whatever here we want to return, we don't want to return through because through it means that it doesn't matter if this is checked or unchecked. If it just exists, we want to return through and we're going to have the same exact problem here that all our checkbox are checked. Inside here, instead of through, we can do another inline shorthand if statement, even if it's not the most elegant solution, it's really short and really simple. So after we have this, we can open and close instead of the true, open and close again, the regular brackets and just simply type the checkbox here. And if the checkbox is through, let's return through. Otherwise, we can return false. And then let's remember to set the variable checked inside here for our inline if statement. So if the checked is through, let's print checked as a parameter of our checkbox. Otherwise, let's not print anything. Let's save it. Let's go back in our dashboard and let's refresh. There you go. We updated our code. You can see here now the checkboxes are reflecting properly what we have in our database. When something is unchecked, the custom post type manager, our custom post type manager is unchecked. If the taxonomy manager has a boolean of one, it means it's checked. That's perfect. Let's do a couple of tests for this lesson before concluding. So now we have the Alicat plugin option here with some custom options. So potentially with the code that we wrote in our activate here, if this option already exists, we shouldn't update our option with an empty array. So let's give it a try. Let's go in our plugin section. Let's deactivate this plugin, deactivate it properly. Let's activate it again. Nothing happens. Let's go in our dashboard. Our checkboxes are still there, which is fantastic. Let's refresh. Yes, the data didn't change. Let's do one last test. Again, let's delete the Alicat plugin WP option. Let's refresh our dashboard and everything is unchecked. Perfect. Let's go in our plugins, deactivate the plugin. Awesome. Let's activate the plugin. Perfect. Let's check the database, refresh. Our empty array has been saved. So our basic option is already there. Let's go in our Alicat dashboard. Let's save a bunch of things and save changes. Perfect. Our settings have been saved properly without any issue of actually showing what checked options are properly saved in our database. So it's pretty much it for this lesson. This was a super quick and short uh, lesson just to fix an annoying issue that I discovered last time. But if you guys find a better solution or if you guys find the reasons why the first time you save something, all the options are checked by default, please let me know in the comment below. This is kind of the solution that I always use when I know I have an array of arguments that I need to have like a default value and I by default just save an empty array. In future lesson, we're gonna take a look on how to clear our database because right now we're saving a bunch of things. But of course on uninstall, when the user deletes our plugin completely before deleting, we need to actually clear the database and not leave a bunch of garbage in the user's database if it doesn't want to use our plugin anymore. So it's pretty much it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And if you want, you can spend a couple of minutes on the support me page of my website where you can find all different ways and methods to support me, support my channel, and help me to do better videos and better tutorials for you. Thank you again, guys. And until the next lesson, as usual, happy coding.